I know, I have a voice of an angel. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, Marvel Comic Chronicles. Today we are gonna be doing a Christmas tag, and here's my uh, Christmas tree accordingly. Today we are gonna do the Christmas songbook tag. Let's go. I am not a good singer, but you might have to enjoy my uh, singing if I know the songs. But I don't know the first one, and <laughs> the first one is um, You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. Name a uh, villainous character you couldn't help but love and for this i am definitely gonna go with the darkling from the grisha trilogy i know a lot of people like the uh darkling so this is not an unpopular opinion but i really enjoyed them in the second book i hated him in the third one but i keep i kept rooting for him and i knew it wasn't gonna happen because of course all I want for Christmas is you. Yeah, Maria Carey isn't me. Of course, I was blessed by the baby Jesus with beautiful vocal singing talents. Yeah. Which book do you most hope to see under the Christmas tree? It's not a book, but it's a bookish thing, and I really want to have a, a Kindle paper white this Christmas to be able to read ebooks. Because I read, I buy way too much of um, physical books, and I really want to try to uh, read more of my library's ebooks. But I don't have anything to read them on apart from my uh, beautiful phone, which is way too small. So, you know, I hope to see that under the Christmas tree, but I'm not sure uh, I will get that. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. Look at him. Yes, Rudolph. He doesn't have a shiny nose because it doesn't work anymore. But Rudolph, the red nosed reindeer, had a very shiny nose. I don't know the rest of the song, but he's cute. And he's my family um, Christmas plushie. Because we are babies in this family. <laughs> Name a character that overcomes major obstacles and learns to believe in themselves. I would have to say uh, Sidra from uh, A Close and Common Orbit. Um, I don't want to say anything about Sidra because it is majorly spoilery, but uh, she overcomes a very, very big obstacle and she becomes herself and it is the most beautiful story ever and I just love it so much. Santa Claus is coming to town. Which character do you think would be on the top of the naughty list and on the top of the nice list? On the top of the naughty list. Uh, Voldemort is the worst, so. Or Umbridge. I'd say Umbridge. Umbridge is so much worse than Voldemort, which is saying something. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Umbridge is definitely gonna be on the top of the naughty list. Um, maybe with Voldemort, like, together in a love thing, whatever. And on the top of the nice list, I'd have to say Sidra from A Close and Corman Orbit. Um, and Pepper from A Close and Corman Orbit. Because um, they are my precious babies and they just try to be so good to everyone around them and they are just so nice and they don't have mean things inside of them they just want to make everybody around them happy and they want to accommodate them and they're so sweet and i just love them so much yes all of the questions will be answered with sidra and pepper <laughs> be prepared frosty the snowman is a gently I don't know the real lyrics to this song either. <laughs> Does it look like I'm a French Canadian? It, yeah. Uh, which book just smells your heart? And for this, I'm gonna go with a different answer than Wayfarers by Vicky Chambers, and <laughs> that is definitely um, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Bahamin Ali Alihe Science. Um, this book is just so 
beautiful. It warms my heart because Dante and Aristotle are the best together and I just love them so much and I wish I could have more of them. So very much. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Choose a book that takes place in a country other than your own. And for this, it is very, very easy. Um, I could take any YA almost that I read. Um, let's just pick one of my favorites of this year, and that is uh, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Arvold Albertalli. I am like 100% sure that this uh, is taking place in the United States, so let's go with that. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Which holiday themed book uh, do you use to spread the Christmas joy? Um, I haven't read any Christmassy book ever so I am gonna have to go with the um, obvious and that is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone because that book is so Christmassy to me. This book is just so beautiful and I love the food that we see in the movies and Harry Potter just feels very Christmassy. Um, the first ones, <laughs> the last ones, they're pretty dark. But uh, yeah, the first one is definitely um, a Christmas classic to me. Through the snow in one horse open sleigh, hard the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha ha ha. Um, <laughs> which fictional character would you choose to spend the holidays with? I would have to say uh, Jughead from the Archie comics. Um, here I have the third volume, so Jughead is one of my favorite character ever. He is just so lovable and he seems like such a nice person, so sweet and I know we would have so much fun um, eating and you know playing games and it would be very very fun for the holidays. I really can't stay, baby it's cold outside. I got to go away, baby it's cold outside. This really has been so very nice. I'll hold your hand then just like mine. butcher any of those songs it's just because I don't know them so you know which book that you didn't like would you sacrifice to a fire to warm yourself up in the cold and I would have to say without a doubt Allegiant by Veronica Roth this whole book ruined the uh, Divergent series which I used to really really love I love Divergent I loved Insurgent and did Allegiant happen and I was sad. So yeah, that would have to be Allegiant to just, I don't want to burn any book, but like Allegiant I wouldn't be sad to burn at all. At all. And the last song is Do You Hear What I Hear and I have no clue what it is so let's not sing it and it is which book do you think everyone should read? Um, Everybody should read the Wafers uh, series by Becky Chambers. Just go out, buy the first book to uh, A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, read it, and let's talk about it. Um, it is so good. <laughs> it is the best book ever. It is so diverse when it is so much fun. And the writing is amazing. The character development is wonderful. And the also, the world building is fantastic. It is definitely one of the most amazing series ever. Um, and it is definitely underrated and everybody should read it. Please read The Wayfarers by Becky Chambers. Please, please, please. And we can talk about it and it's gonna be so much fun. Guys, that was it for my uh, book tag. Um, let me know down below if you have, uh, if you did this tag so we can talk about it and I can go see yours and if you didn't, uh, I am tagging you right there to do it. Um, so have fun 
like this video uh, to let me know that you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to my channel to see my other Christmas tags that are gonna be go coming out soon to you. Very, very soon. I don't know when, but pretty freaking soon. <laughs> so, have a very lovely day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!